Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you the stuff that I've gotten from different stores to complete my Halloween decor at home. Um, I add to it every year, so I feel like it just gets bigger and bigger, but I can't help it. Halloween is my absolute favorite holiday. And whenever I walked into Target and saw the dollar spot full with Halloween decor, I just went crazy. Um, I like to do a witch's theme in my house, but I feel like they just have so much cute stuff with pumpkins and with um, skeletons and stuff like that, that I just like, I have to kind of venture out a little bit, but I feel like my main theme is the witch's theme. So you will see a lot of the witch's theme here. I still am waiting for a lot of stuff. I'm waiting for some stuff from, um, I believe it's TJ Maxx, Oriental Trading, and uh, Michael's. I'm waiting for stuff there. And then, of course, I'm super early. So I feel like a lot of a lot more stuff's going to come out that I am kind of going to want. I'm going to try not to get any more stuff. But I love Halloween. So anyways, I have a lot to go through. So let's just get started. I am, um, I kind of separated from what sort of what store did I get this stuff from, but it's kind of everywhere, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with my Dollar Tree stuff just to get out of the thing way. that I found were these super cute ornaments, and two of them have eyeballs, and the rest of them are just black, but I thought that was really cute to get that little five-piece set, and I the my favorite part was obviously the the balls, the eyeballs and I am going to be using them. I got two of those. So I think that I'm gonna be using the, these for like my glass jars and stuff like that and just de decorate them with these and just show like the eyeball part. I thought that would be really cute. So next we have, let's see, we have this creepy cloth little stuff that I got from Dollar Tree. And I got, they have a black and a gray and I think like an off-white. And I went with the gray and I am going to be using this to cover up a speaker that I'm going to be putting my little mummy that I got. So I got this and then I got, I found these really, really, really cute little window decorations and they just have little different stuff like this. And they're just like the little sticky ones that you can just, the window clings that you can put on your windows. I got that one. And then I got these cute ones with pumpkins. I love how this witch has a, a witch, I mean how this pumpkin has a witch hat on it. These two here, they're super cute. So I got those. And then I think I got, yeah, I got another one here. And it just, of course, has some bats some spiders, a big black cat, and a cat get coming out of um, a pumpkin there. And then we have, I got three of these, and they are just little skulls. I thought those were super, super cute, and it came with a lot in each, in each little pouch here. And I got three of these, and I am also gonna use them for inside of my clear vases. I like to decorate them up and I will probably put these in there. And for Halloween, I always like to give out little baggies and stuff to my family and friends. So I saw these little happy haunting little witch baggies and I thought they were a perfect size. They're actually pretty big. And I'm gonna probably put some little creepy crawlies and some candies in there. And I like to bake a lot. So I got these super cute little witch, witch and black cat um, little see-through baggies. And they're kind of see-through, but they have all that stuff on there. So you'll be able to see the sweets in there. So I'll, I will probably do like some homemade sugar cookies and put them in here and pass them out as well. I also got these. These were super, super cute. They are, I got the large size. There's four different sizes. And I like how whenever you open them, they have like something spooky inside of them. And I love the orange one. That was really cute. And then this rest in peace one 
was just super, super cute as well. And it has the skeleton inside. There's another one and it has um, a Dracula inside of it. But um, I didn't like the outside. And I don't think they have the large size and I needed the large size. For this, I think I'm gonna put some um, chocolate inside of them and pass them out to my family as well. And then from Dollar Tree, I also got, I have so much stuff up here. So if you hear it fall, I'm sorry. But I just got so much stuff up here. Okay, they have a really big selection of cards. I don't know if you guys like to give out cards for Halloween, but like I told you, it's my favorite holiday besides Christmas and Valentine's Day. And this one was just calling my name. I got this one for my mom. I hope she doesn't see this. I got these super cute Dia de los Muertos uh, stickers. I um, have a planner and I like to stick this on there. Um, I won't decorate with these um, like on at my house or anything, but I'm going to definitely be using this in my uh, planner. And then I found these really cute little, they're like, um, I think they're like those foam kind of little pumpkins. I will kind of I was thinking about putting them inside of the vases, but I think that I am just going to be um, decorating these like one by one around the house and stuff like that. So I thought those were super cute. I got two packs of the 20 lights. Um, I got them in orange. I am going to be using this for a project that I'm gonna be doing on the window. I'm going to be basically drawing out a witch and a cauldron and her like mixing it. And I'm going to be um, putting it on my ginormous window and then putting this around it so at night you can see it. It's really cute and I got that idea off Pinterest. Okay, and then I got this super cute. I, it took a few times for me to drive um, to Dollar Tree and find this one, but I'm glad I finally found it. It is the Society of Black Hats, a fly-by-night group, and it's just this sign that is super cute. It looks like it would be like from Hobby Lobby or something and I got it for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So I thought that was super cute. I am gonna give it a spray with some hairspray because it has a lot of black and silver glitter that is going to be getting all over me as we speak. So I got that. I also got these um, little bats that I am going to be just using a few for my window, like I told you. I got the bat, and then I also got some spiders here, and I am just gonna be um, taping them on my window so you can see them along with my witch. And then I also got these really cute um, little pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I thought they were super cute. They have polka dot ones as well. But at the time, whenever I went and got these, they didn't have the polka dot ones. I might get some, I might not. But I thought these were super cute for only being a dollar. And then I also got, um, we decided that, I decided that this year, we are going to be throwing a Halloween party um, with my, our family and friends. So I got this really cute um, gelatin mold and it's in a brain. So I think I, I wanted to totally test this out and see if it's really gonna work for that. So I'm really excited to test that out. And then I also got, this is probably one of my favorite parts. I got this really cute small cauldron, which is cauldron, and it is just super cute. It's not as big as I thought it was gonna be. Um, online it looked a little bit bigger, but I did find some on Oriental Trading that comes with three different sizes. So I went ahead and ordered that because I need the biggest one for outside. I'm gonna do like a its own little uh, witches theme out there as well. And um, yeah, I will probably just stick some candy in here and have this inside of the house. So when people come over or whatever, you can get some candy out of there. And then I also, oh, this is okay. Maybe that wasn't my favorite part. This is my favorite part. Whenever I saw that they had these, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait till my Dollar Tree puts them up. I like went three days in a row and they still hadn't put them up. And I was like, oh my gosh, where are those witches books at? So I found these super cute books. There is four different kinds and one of them is in silver and purple. 
and that's really like not my colors so I left that one and that one said something like ghost stories but I got this super cute one this one's the smallest one and it is book of secrets and it looks just like that but it's so cute because it opens up like a box I doubt I'll put anything in there but I thought it was super super adorable I absolutely love them and I couldn't wait to get my hands on them and then I got a book of spells and this is kind of like the medium size and then it has this on the side and then it opens up as well and I thought this was super cute I went ahead and got two of these one for me one for my mom I thought they were super adorable I can't wait till I put everything up and see if I'm missing anything in each room or anything like that so I can go ahead and buy some more because I this is just the cutest and then this one is my absolute favorite, of course, and it is the largest size that they have, and it is the Witch's Guide, and it says potions and poisons, and the side has the witch on a broom with her cat. So yeah, that is super cute. I love that the back looks like that. It just has the bubbling cauldron, and then it looks just like that. So this one is my absolute favorite, and I'm so happy I finally got my hands on them. And just by how cute they are, I think I'm just going to get a few more and then just maybe use them for next year or something like that. So let me see. Nope, that's not on my dollar tree. And then I got um, this for Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead. And I absolutely love this. It has this little teeth part right here in the middle that you can pop out. And when it's popped out, it's a whole lot cuter, but I don't want to pop it out yet. It's just so beautiful. It's, I was like shocked. Look at how big this space is. It's huge. And um, yeah, I thought it was super cute. You just hang it. Oh, oh, I'll just pop it back in. But you just hang it and it's just super cute for Day of the Dead. Um, the only thing is I really, I mean, they have so much stuff for Day of the Dead, even everywhere. Like I was checking Kirkland's. And they have a lot of Day of the Dead stuff. But I feel like I can't really, I don't want to get too, too much of it, which I already have some from the previous years. Because it's so close to uh, Halloween that it's kind of like your um, decorating for that doesn't last very long. And I don't want to invest so much time and money into it if it's not going to be out very long. So that's why I kind of go all out for my Halloween because obviously that's going to be out really long. I like to decorate really early. But anyways, this is another cute thing that I found for Day of the Dead for Dia de los Muertos. And they had this one at the Dollar Tree as well. And it's just like a little cute box. And then you open it and it looks like that. It could be used for like a party favor or something like if you want to make some cookies and put them in here and hand it out you can I think I I don't really know what I'm gonna use it for to be honest but it was too cute to leave so I got that as well and then I got this I don't think it's gonna go on my door or anything I do have a beautiful little wreath that I got last year I think my mom got, gave it to me but this is another one and it's really long and it's just super beautiful and glittery. I am definitely going to be spraying this as well, but it's just cute to hang around the house or add it with your other Dia de los Muertos stuff. I thought that was really, really, really cute. I also got, oh, this was super cute. This come in my pretties little um, witch. It has a witch hat here and a broom here and purple's not really my color, but um, in my color scheme for my decor. But since, I mean, sometimes you're going to find stuff with purple and you just have to deal with it. So that's why I went ahead and got are they? these pumpkins because it kind of went with it and I didn't want to just have one pop of purple and that's it. So, but yeah, this is so, so, so cute. It looks like it would be from Hobby Lobby or Michaels as well. It is just really good quality and yeah, that's what that looks like. And then I also got for fall, I don't decorate. Well, I try to, but I feel like, I don't know, brown, I don't know. I don't, I don't have too much for, for just the fall part. My mom does, she decorates beautifully for fall, but, um, 
The only thing that I found was this really cute, it says thankful and blessed little thing that you get to hang. And I thought it was just absolutely gorgeous. It totally, when I saw it, I was like, that doesn't look like it's from Dollar Tree. That is cute. Let's get it. So I went ahead and got that. I'm trying not to lose my voice. And then I got this beautiful beware sign. I thought it was gorgeous. It does not look like it's from Dollar Tree. Like Dollar Tree is just exceeding all my expectations. It just looks so good. Um, I think this one's my favorite. There's two different kinds. And I got this one just in case I wanted to use it for outside. But I think I'm gonna go back and get another white one because this one just doesn't look as good as this one does. This one has like a rustic feel to it. It looks like they took some more time to do this one. And this one's just like a matte black with some glittery um, orange letters. And this one's really cute too. So I don't know, you can tell the difference. I really like this one more though. Move on just real quick to my Pier 1 order. And this is the only thing that I've gotten so far from Pier 1, but I kinda wanna get it out of the way because it's so big. And, oh. I got two of them because I got one for me and one for my mom just because they were super cute. And she does kind of do a witch's theme at her house too. That's just our favorite if you can't already tell. And I got this super cute doormat and it says shoes off witches. Can't tell because of this little guy right there. But it's really big and this is what it looks like. It's like really great material. And at the time they had, I can't even show you, it's at the time they had like a really good sell going. So I went ahead and got two of them, but it's really big as you can see. And I thought it just went perfect with my theme and it's going to go perfect outside of my door with all of my witch stuff that I got going on. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you what I got from Target. So since they, it was kind of a mess at the dollar spot. They had um, Halloween, they had fall, and they had football, all mixed in with some leftover school supplies and stuff like that. But of course, fall is football. So I went ahead and they had like a really small little section, like more of a, for parties and stuff like that. But they did have this, these really cute men's socks, which aren't gonna be for my man, they're gonna be for me. But they are these long, socks with all the yards on it. I thought that was super, super, super cute. I could be watching um, my game and wearing my cute socks. I just thought that was super cute. And then I got this tailgating banner and it just has a whole bunch of footballs on it. But the footballs are a really good material. They're not like, um, they're not, they don't, they don't have that cheap feel. I mean, they even have like the roughness from a real football. So I thought that was absolutely adorable for whenever we do have game day and stuff like that. I'm a huge Broncos fan and my boyfriend is a huge Raider fan and that is like a total no-no. I don't know how we lasted this long. <laughs> totally kidding. But um, that's like super, super controversial. So we like to have um, parties because his family are Raiders fans and my entire family are Bronco fans. So we like to throw parties and stuff at our house and people just come over and watch the game. So I got this for that. And um, this is from the dollar spot. This was $3. The socks were a dollar. The banner was $3 and this was $3 as well. It's just a really big little football and it feels just like the banner. And um, yeah, that I just got that. I, I'm thinking about putting a Bronco head on top and a Raider uh, logo um, down here as well, just to make it that much cuter. Well, the top part, the Bronco part. <laughs> but um, I also got this from the dollar spot. And since I did tell you I was doing my witch theme, I got this really cute little banner for like, I'll probably do it in the middle of the wall. It's hard to tell you where I'm gonna put it, but okay, I got this and it does say Hocus Pocus, just like that. It's so cute. They had different ones. This was $3 and I thought that one was just super, super cute. 
I got these outdoor steaks and um, they were $3 and they just go inside of your plants or anything like that. And this one does say rest in peace. And I also got two of these and they are witch's shoes. I had to get two and Simon was like, what do you need two for? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe next year. I don't know. I just want two. So I got these really cute witch feet. You have seen them everywhere and they are so expensive. I was um, just recently about to purchase some on Amazon, I believe, and they were $27. And I feel like if you're going to be putting them in your planters and stuff like that, they might get ruined for being outside, you know, stuff like that. So I was just like, it's not worth it. When I saw these for three bucks, I was like, okay. I'm gonna get those, those are cute. So I got that, um, this was a dollar. I just got this really cute magnet list pad for my fridge, I just keep it on the side. You can't really see it, I just know where it's at. And it says things I'm dying to do with a little skeleton. I thought that was too cute. I didn't need it, but it was cute. <laughs> so then I got this really cute candle holder and it is adorable. They have stuff like this at Bath & Body that retail for $49.50. So when I saw this for $5, I was like, okay, let's get it. And I would've got more, but this was the last one that they had. I hope they do restock. I wanna get one for my mom and possibly my grandma. This was just super cute. It was five bucks and it has a different haunted look on each side. This one's super cute, it looks Frankenstein-ish. And then it has that circle in there for like a little small candle. And I've already kind of tried it out, not with a real candle, but with those little flickering lights. And it looked super, super, super cute. Okay, another thing that I got was this beautiful little cute calderone. And it says Witch's Brew. I believe that's the scent. And at the time that I got it, I obviously could not smell but my boyfriend said it smells really good. So it's this little cute cauldron and I might get a few more of them because it's just super cute and it's made out of ceramic, I think. I'm almost positive, but this was only $3 and it just had this really cute thing in here. Honestly, I don't think that I'm going to be using it. I think I'm gonna leave this there and just leave it like as a decor, but I don't know, we'll see. And then I got this other cute little um, bowl for candy. And it says in the, in the inside of it right here, it says, which better have my candy. And I thought that was super cute. It has like these uh, orange and black spider webs around it. And I just thought that was cute. I was gonna get the striped one and it said something else really cute inside of it. But when I saw that it said witch in here, I was like, okay, that's gonna go with my theme. <laughs> so then I also got this super cute witch and she has her mouth open and it's made out of um, ceramic. It's a ceramic open mouth candy dish and it was $3 and they had other ones. They had a black cat, which I think I'm going to go back to get. And then they had like um, they had a, a jack-o'-lantern and they had a ghost as well. But these were super, super cute. I got one for me and my mom because this was this was to die. I could not just get one. And then I also got this really beautiful um, pumpkin here. And it has a lot of glittery stars. And they are not rose gold. They look a little rose gold in the, in the camera here. But they are um, just gold. And this was $3. So this was super, super cute. I love that. I am going to have to spray it down because I have noticed that a lot of the stars are starting to go everywhere. Another thing that I got from the Target dollar spot were these absolutely, absolute cutest brooms I've ever seen in my life. They're these really small little crooked brooms. And I say crooked because this is super crooked, but it's supposed to be like that. It's super cute. These were $3 as well. I got two. They had quite a bit of these and I only got two and I regretted it. So I, I might, after I put everything up, go back to get some more of these. These were just super cute. 
And then they only had one of these and my boyfriend picked this out and he's like, look, they only have one. It's glittery, it's black, and I know you're gonna want it later, so just grab it now. So I got this really cute one. It's only, there was only one left, like I said, so I don't know where I'm gonna use this at, but I know I'm gonna use it. So that, I think it completes my dollar spot Target little haul. Um, there, I did see some stuff online that wasn't in the dollar spot, but was in the decor section for Halloween. So I might go check that out because it had some cute stuff on there as well. Okay, so I think I am going to move on. Let's move on to Marshalls. Okay, so the other day my mom came by and dropped this off for me. And it's from Marshalls. And they are these beautiful little witches. She got one for herself and one for me. And they are super cute. They are wearing brown and black. And it's really heavy. And they are these beautiful little witches. I think they're super cute. But these ones were $12.99. But the ones I got some last year. And I brought them here just to show, just to show you that they're kind of the same thing. Are they the, they're the same size. I didn't know that. I thought my mom's that she got were larger. But see, these are the ones that she got me and then these are the ones that I got last year. And I thought they were super, super cute. Yeah, those are cute. But anyways, oh yeah, these were $12.99 too. So these were both $12.99. This was last year's, but this is this year's. So I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to find them if you go ahead and, and head this over. This is totally does not match my decor at all, but when my boyfriend saw this, he was like, we've gotta have that, that's so cute. Let me have something in the decor. So he picked this super cute little guy out and he is a mummy and I don't know what he's made out of. It doesn't even say he was $19.99. He could totally break, but it's this super cute little mummy, and it does have a bowl like for candy. So um, he did say that he would look better if all his like inside his mouth was black. So I might paint that for him. But um, yeah, that is so cute. He's just adorable, and I was just happy that we got to come home with him because he's super cute. But this is his. So this is my favorite part that or the favorite thing that I found at Marshall's this year. I, I'm sure they're gonna bring some more stuff out, so that'll be good, because hopefully they bring out some more new stuff. But when I went, this super cute pillow is there. And it says, come in and sit for a spell. And it is just this beautiful, really big pillow. I mean, it's just like a perfect size. This was um, $16.99, and I think it was absolutely worth the price. I love how it has like this fringe on the end and then it has these orange stripes. I love the the character of the broom. I just love the, the hat over here and this was just super cute. I can't wait. This one is going to keep be inside and I will show you what I'm going to be putting outside on my chairs. Um, these ones were from TJ Maxx and they just came in. But they are absolutely, the, they're the same exact pillow as the one that I just showed you. And they came wrapped up in that. And this one is so cute. It says, The Witch is In. And I ordered this one before I went to Marshall's. And then I found this one and I was like, okay, these are the cutest. And they are the exact same thing, just with different things. But they still go with my witch theme. And I thought they were absolutely adorable. So I think this one is supposed to remain inside. I don't think it's for outdoor. I even read the description and it didn't say. It is by Witch Crafters. And no, it just says Feather Filled Decorative Pillow. So I'm pretty sure that these are supposed to remain inside, but I do have two chairs outside and I love to decorate them with pillows. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to put this pillow on one and Oh, I haven't even taken this one out either. And this is another one, and these were both from TJ Maxx. The other pillow was from Marshalls. 
but that this one is just I'm so in love with this pillow I can't okay so this is the back of it it's super cute and the Fred says I'll put a spell on you so it's just so cute so on one pillow I mean on one chair I'm gonna have this one the witch is in and then the other one is gonna say I'll put a spell on you <laughs> so I thought those were super super adorable and that's the only two things that I've gotten from TJ Maxx so far um, when I went to TJ Maxx, I think not last weekend, but the weekend before, I really wanted to look, but I was like, no, I better not. I need to make a return and then I'm going to be on my way. And that's exactly what I did. And it was tax free weekend. And I felt dumb after I left because I was like, okay, I was already in there. I was in that super long line. I should have just shopped, but I might go later. I might not. I'm trying not to, but I've been shopping online. So I think I'll do that instead. Ah. Uh, Okay, and then the final things that I have to show you is just a couple of things that we got from Ross. And this is the very first thing. It is a super cute pillow that my mom got me. Oh, I forgot to bring my other pillow. Oh, I forgot to, never mind. Okay, so there's this super cute, super cute pillow. It has some pom poms on the end, and um, it's definitely more Halloween y. I might leave it out. But it doesn't really match with my Dia de los Muertos stuff. But I, I guess it kind of does because of the face and the skeleton um, look on this one. But since it has the web, it looks totally more, more like a Halloween look. But I don't know. Whenever I have it all, all out, I might just keep this one in a different room or something. But this one's super cute. The other side's just purple. But I thought this was super cute. This one was from Ross. And it was... $8.99. So that is super cute. And that's one pillow. And my mom called me and she's like, I'm at Ross. What do you want? What are you looking for? And I'm like, she, it's like, I go to the store, I find some cute stuff. So I get two of, two of something I really love for, for me and her. And then she does the exact same thing. Oh, this is another thing that I got from Marshall's. I forgot about this. So I got this from Marshall, sorry about that. I totally had it mixed in with the Ross bag and it's from Bewitched Home. And it was $5.99 at Marshall's and it says Drink Up Witches. I got this for the kitchen, obviously. And I love the back because it has just like different little potions and stuff like that just floating. And I thought that was super, super cute. Very goes with my theme and they had a lot of cute different ones, so it's going to be honest. They just had so much cute stuff. Um, but I chose that one because of what it said. It went with my theme and everything like that. So my mom got me this at Ross. And it was super cute. It was for $2.99. And it says Magic Voodoo. And then it just, it's super cute, right? It's purple. And just like I said, purple is totally not in my colors, but I added it and it looks really cute. So I got everything with pretty much black, white, orange, purple, and I think that's it, and a whole lot of glitter. So that's one of them that she got. It is super cute. And then, I already forgot what these say. Oh, here's another purple one and it says, Arsenic Slow and Painful with a Raven on it. That was super cute and this one was $2.99 as well. Super cute. I love the, the trim up here. Very, very, very beautiful. And then I have one more, I believe. Nope, two more. Okay, and then I have the Witch's Brew, which of course had to have this one. This one was $2.99 as well. It's super, super, super pretty. It has that and it has the really cute witch's hat on top. I thought that was cute. Okay, and this is the last one and it is a dark navy blue and it says magic voodoo. It's exactly like my purple one. Except this one has a spider and this one has a skeleton. But that is what they look like. And that is the blue one. And this one was $2.99 as well. 
So they have some really good deals at Ross. I haven't gone for myself to actually see what they have, but my mom got this super cute ha Happy Halloween pillow and it's long ways just like these were. And it's very cute for her decor. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I have. For now, I'm trying my best not to get any more because I obviously still have stuff from last year and the year before that. But um, I do have this really, really cute, really big wreath that I am going to be using this year on my door. So on my door will be my really big wreath that I made last year. And I say it's really big because I really underest underestimated the door because I was like, it's a huge door. I'm going to need like all kinds of stuff. So I made it nice and big and it's so fat. And it's so, so, so pretty, but it's just so big for my door, but I still put it on there. It's, it's cute. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really, really enjoyed doing it. I really enjoyed showing you what I got. Dollar Tree is like the absolute best right now. Um, I did get a lot of simple things, but I'm going to put them along with my Target stuff. And I swear, it'll just, it'll look really elegant and it'll be so, so cheap. So you'll save money and it'll look really good. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you want to see a part two of what I get later on in the months before Halloween for my decor. Definitely see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, have a great day. Bye guys.